Hello there everybody, Embrix here, and um, this review of Captain Marvel is going to have no spoilers. Yeah, so uh, yesterday at 8pm was the showing, I saw Captain Marvel. So uh, I've decided to do a review on it and kind of talk about the set and the accuracy of the set. This is the non-spoiler review. I am going to do a spoiler review that will come out after this, and we're going to be talking about the movie, the set accuracy, and a lot of other things. So, uh, let's talk about the movie first. The movie itself, like, the visual effects in that movie were stunning. They were absolutely stunning. Like, the action scenes and everything, like, it was so crisp. It just felt right, and, like, the action was very good. And then the character arc was nice, you know. It it was a different take on your average Marvel movie, I'd say. Like, um, they really explored some different things into this movie and i definitely liked it like i don't know uh, the, just the way the movie went together was so cool and i'm gonna be saying stuff in the trailer so in the trailer we see that the scrolls are shapeshifters and they really played around with the idea of that and other things like you know uh someone you think is someone else but then they turn into a scroll and reveal their two selves and like they play around with that idea a lot and it was just a fun movie here's my only uh well i got a couple of complaints with the movie like it was so cool seeing like carol danvers which is captain marvel and nick fury you know side by side like a hero team up or something like that but I do have a couple of complaints. Uh, for uh, comedy, they kept bringing up the point that, oh, I'm from space, and, like, you know, they kept, like, like, she kept saying stuff, like, from, like, her galaxy, let me say, without spoiling anything, like, you know, where she's from, the alien planet Hala, which we see in the trailer, and, like, you know, they kept doing that to make it funny, but, I don't know, it kind of got old after a bit, but that's just me personally, but... My major problem was she's so powerful, and that is a huge problem. Like, uh, people always complain that Thor is too powerful, but Captain Marvel's even more powerful than Thor. So that's saying something. Like, there was another, well, there was a slight struggle, but there was another point where I really felt that she struggled against taking a villain down. She never, like, there was never a point where she felt like giving up. It was always like, punch and they're dead that's it you know like the fight's over she won with one punch one blast anything you know she could just win and like the character arc like there was the good character arc it was just that i didn't see enough of the struggle but yeah o overall the movie was pretty good and they did something special let me say without uh spoiling anything again with the beginning of the movie you know the marvel logo uh, where they show all the heroes and it says Marvel Studios. They did something very special and it almost made me cry. It was so amazing that it was so great. But uh, let's talk about the sets then. Oh, sorry, the one set. Now, here's the thing. The set we got was a Quinjet and it was a solid build, but it's kind of inaccurate the way the Quinjet looks. But inaccuracies are, it's not too inaccurate. You, you got a young Nick Fury in the set. Uh, it's the one you're looking at now. Captain Marvel, which could have used his dual, which could have used dual molded legs, but sadly no, but I'm going to overlook that. Uh, we got Goose the Cat, and then we got Talos the Skrull. He looks so bad, which so many people have complained upon, but here's the thing. Go back to like the special look trailer or trailer number two. Uh, you see like these guys in blue and black suits or whatever. And if you're a Marvel Comics fan, you'd know that those are Star Force. We didn't get any of them. And it's pretty obvious from the trailer that they have a key part in the movie. And we didn't even get Ronin or anything else. So yeah, lack of figures. And I, I also made a kind of Lego discussion just about um, should like they make more Lego Marvel uh, sets for movies, but yeah, my only complaints, I guess, are the figures we didn't get for the set, that's my only complaint, but yeah, that's it for this video, I hope you liked this review, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, support me on Patreon, and I will talk to you again soon with a Captain Marvel review, but a spoiler one for when you guys go and see the movie, bye.